Throughout history, this site has been attacked multiple times, including by Tamerlane the Conqueror and by the Persian Empire. To preserve their legacy, locals have rebuilt the ancient Assyrian Christian village of al Kosh with the hopes of boosting tourism in the area. The unique thing here is they follow the old traditions, the things we saw many years ago. In al Kosh, they've brought back water pitchers and agricultural methods. The renovation took more than two months and cost more than $110,000. Nearly a quarter of that was donated by residents of the modern town of al Kosh nearby. The old village has been rebuilt exactly where it was 1,600 years ago, on Iraq's Nineveh Plains. Visitors can see how animals were raised and bread was made. Danny Esmaro, an al Kosh descendant, started and funded much of the project. The idea came from a love of heritage from a passion for the days of our grandparents that we haven't seen. To get authentic tools and traditional equipment, Asmaro says he and a group of other residents donated their heirlooms and searched antique shops. Sahira Yunus, a baker, has moved here to live a more simple life. We bake here and live like our parents and grandparents did. The bread has a special taste. It's baked with passion and love. It has the spirit of the old days. Since those days, tens of thousands of people have had to flee al Kosh, including just before a Daesh attack in 2014. But those who remain don't just want to safeguard their history, they want to share it with the world. Sarah Balter, TRT World.